Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the Third Wave Business Systems Marketing Campaign Management Solution for SAP Business One. Thank you for taking the time to visit with us today for this important information regarding how marketing campaign management can help each and every organization using SAP Business One today. I am Stephen Aroldi, the Director of Sales here at Third Wave Business Systems. Today, we will be presenting a brief PowerPoint presentation and then move on to a demonstration of the marketing campaign management solution for SAP Business One. Briefly, I would like to point out our agenda today is very short and simple. We will talk briefly about third wave business systems, then provide a high level overview of the marketing campaign management solution with CRM or customer relationship management capabilities and move on to a demonstration of the marketing campaign management solution. Third wave business systems has been in business since 1993 and then SAP Business One partner since the very early part of 2004, actually in the latter part of 2003. We have consistently been a leader in terms of customer satisfaction and support of the SAP Business One community since the time of becoming a partner with the SAP team. We have been developing solutions to enhance the functionality within the SAP Business One solution since the very early part of 2005. We have also been an SAP Business One Advisory Council member since the early part of 2005, serving on a global SSP Advisory Council team. Now a little bit about our marketing campaign management solution itself. Our marketing campaign management solution is one of our newest solutions in the third wave business system suite of products. Marketing campaign management, or MCM as I like to call it, is an integrated solution designed specifically for companies who want to manage their CRM and marketing functions from within one vantage point, managing complete marketing and prospect campaign life cycles as well. It eliminates the need for third-party, non-integrated solutions where users need to enter the same data one or more times, thereby raising the chances for errors. So what is marketing campaign management? Marketing campaign management is a single solution integrated into SAP Business One, delivering powerful customer relationship management capabilities and marketing campaign management capabilities as well. It allows users to perform complete lead management functions from initial contact all the way through to invoice and beyond. Managing leads, assigning activities, notes are now more simple and easy to use than ever. Campaigns are now easy to manage and execute. The ability to create multiple phases to a campaign, make them active, draft, etc. are very easy from within the application. Marketing campaign management, as you will see, navigates just like SAP Business One. Because the navigation is very similar to the SAP Business One solution, it reduces the learning curve to a minimum status, making the product intuitive. Lastly, marketing campaign management is a tool that provides a 360 degree view of not only your customer relationship management activities, but also your marketing activities, and allows everyone in the organization whether in sales, service, or whatever department, to understand and leverage the true importance of marketing activities within the organization. I am sure you are asking yourself, why would we want to use marketing campaign management for SAP Business One? I will explain that over the next few minutes. MCM, or marketing campaign management, is for companies who are asking for things like, a single view of the organization from a marketing perspective. I want to manage all of my CRM functions, marketing functions, etc., all in one place. To get the edge in today's competitive marketplace, companies need to respond faster to, to inquiries to stay ahead of my competition. Wouldn't it be great if we could actually target our marketing audience, create specific marketing campaigns and programs that are simple and easy to set up and manage? Lastly, Information is the key to our success. The more information we capture and retain about a prospect, the easier it is to market to them in the future and market to their specific needs. Now I'd like to point out, at a very high level, a few features in the marketing campaign management solution. I will dig deeper in my demo to show you some more information in a moment or two. As I mentioned earlier, Marketing Campaign Management is a fully integrated CRM and marketing campaign management tool. 
it allows users to create and manage marketing campaigns from nurture to order to invoice and beyond. It leverages both SMTP and Constant Contact to deliver rich marketing content. We now have the ability to track the results of a campaign. I will show how users can see opportunities, orders, invoices, and sales opportunities related to a campaign. Lastly, as I mentioned previously, marketing campaign management is a 360 degree view of your prospects and your customers. Now sales, service, marketing, can be aligned to make informed decisions about prospects and clients because they have access to the data that is accurate and up-to-date. And by the way, I mentioned sales, service, and marketing, virtually any department within the organization who has access to the MCM solution now has that information readily available at their fingertips. Now let's see the marketing campaign management solution in action. I took the liberty to open a few screens and we'll navigate through some of the screens here and, and show you how the MCM or Marketing Campaign Management Solution works from within SAP Business One. As you can see, we have a menu item here, MCM, and within the, the MCM solution itself, there are four menu items. And I've taken the liberty to open the four screens here for us. I'm going to begin here at a document library and talk about what documents can do in terms of facil facilitating the process to get information out to prospects, suspects, and or clients. The document library is exactly what it sounds like. It's a repository of information. So here you can see I have a few documents in my library, and this could be an unlimited list. It can be a PDF document. It can be a, a Word document, an XML, an Excel document. So you have several options here. I have selected the first line item called OEC Company Bio, and it's under the General tab. When I take a look at my related documents, you can see here that I've got a communication template, and the name of that template is a suspect intro letter. Let me explain what a communication uh, template is. It, is. it is a template where I want to quickly send off a piece of information to either a suspect or a nurturer or prospect in my database or an existing client. And I'll explain that here very quickly. I'm going to move over to an account screen in Marketing Campaign Management. Let's assume that Sam's Electronics was a, a new prospect that just called in today or was just created in my database today. And I want to quickly send off a letter of introduction and a thank you for reaching out to us. I can simply create that a temp communication template and come here and do a right click on the screen and simply select the communication template suspect intro letter. What will that do? It will send off a letter that we've pre-formatted, and I'll show you that in the template in a moment, send off that, that letter to the individual along with the attachment that I just showed to you here in the document library that we've identified, which was this OEC company bio. So we have the ability, whether it be in our marketing campaign management solution, to quickly send off data to our prospects and suspects, but as well, we can extend that to any screen in the SAP Business One solution. Let me minimize this and, and show you a little bit more on the templates themselves. Here was that template I just spoke about in the account screen that you saw a moment ago. You can see here that I could create an activity when I send off that letter. You can see here that it is tied to an account screen in marketing. But you can also see that I can attach any kind of communication template to any of the other screens within SAP Business One. And I have an example here that I'll show you very quickly. Let me scroll back to the very first document in my template. And you can see here that I have a business partner reseller certificate request that's tied to my business partner screen in core SAP Business One, and my template happens to be an email template. It could be an email or a print template. In this example, it's an email. So by moving over to my business partner screen, I'll show you where I can associate communication templates not only with my, my nurture or suspects, prospects, but also with my SAP Business One customer base, my lead base, or my vendor base. 
you see here, I'll, I'll right click on the business partner master screen. I've got that option now to send off the B business partner reseller certificate request to this end user. I just wanted to show you that very quickly because we have the ability to associate these templates with any one of the screens in SAP Business One. Now within this particular template, you can see that I've attached a reseller certificate. So we could attach multiple documents here. Well, how do I edit that message template? What does that actually look like? Let me open the message editor for you briefly here. The message editor leverages Microsoft Word as its editing tool. So when we open the message editor, you can see we pre-formatted a, a letter here, if you will. And because it is the Microsoft Word solution, we can do virtually anything we'd like with this in terms of we can make things bold, we can change fonts, we can add in graphics, and then we can customize this letter by simply coming up here to the very top of our screen and selecting some of the query fields that are available via a standard SAP Business One query or SQL query and in inserting that tag or that field, if you will, within our template. So I wanted to show you very quickly how we leverage messages or communication templates within the marketing campaign management solution to help facilitate the process to get information that might be repetitive on a constant basis. Now what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about marketing campaigns themselves. Here you can see I've got a screen, marketing campaign. And in the header level of my marketing campaign, I've identified the name of my campaign. You know, what type of campaign is it? Is it a new customer acquisition? Is it email? Is it print? Maybe it's a radio campaign. Maybe it's a print campaign, whatever it might be. So we can identify different types of campaigns. I actually had a client that was using marketing campaign management to, lev to manage their, their trade show management activities. So where they're renting booth space and all the, the uh, associated items that go along with managing a trade show. They were managing that from within their marketing campaign management solution. So we identify what type of campaign it might be. We also put in here a call to action. It's just one of those simple reminders from a marketing perspective when we're creating marketing campaigns. We've got to have a call to action. We've got to have the client available to do something uh, or respond to something. We put in here a campaign description so we can kind of describe what that uh, campaign is all about. And then maybe we'll, we'll add in some objectives about the campaign and what we'd like to do. I want to point out we do have the ability to do a constant contact integration, and I'll talk about that in a moment. This particular campaign is leveraging what we call SMTP, so our internal Microsoft Outlook servers. So moving down to my general tab, you can see that I, ha I have the ability to create different statuses. And by the way, most of these fields are editable by you, so the information and language can be whatever you would like that to be, so it's more fine-tuned to your business. In this example, it is an approved email campaign. My potential responses was 10, and I, I could forecast a budget if I would like to for this and what my expected results might be of my campaign. So I want to spend X number of dollars on it, and I'm hoping to, to get back some revenue based on this, uh, what my actual launch date might be, and if I actually sold something and created something. We also have the ability here under account project from a purchasing perspective to associate an AP purchase with a marketing campaign. So now I can drive reports out later on when the campaign is complete, looking at what we actually spent to build this marketing campaign, and then what the actual revenue was from the campaign itself. And then moving over to the right here, we can see we've got some fields for actual responses, actual cost, and these are static fields right now. Um, in this particular build. In the future, there'll be some more interaction here or integration here as well. Uh, the, the last three fields that you see on my general tab talk about my quotes, my orders, and my invoices that are associated with this particular campaign. And when we move over to the results tab, we'll dig a little bit deeper into my quotes, orders, and invoices. Let's take a look at my list tab here for a moment. And you can see I have three tabs under list. Within my campaign, I can have several phases to my campaign. 
My first phase might be an email that was sent out. My second phase might be a call, a follow-up call campaign. My third phase might be a print campaign. And my fourth phase might be another email campaign or a call campaign. So we have the ability to create unlimited phases within our campaign here. We put in a, a date when the campaign was actually sent, what the status of my campaign might be. And then here we identify a query using Microsoft SQL, I'm sorry, using MS SQL. So we create a query, which is going to drive out the list of names we're actually going to market to. So let me talk a little bit here about list data. So I've got a test email here that I've identified. And you can see I'm only sending this to one person. And I've, and I've done this by design because I want to show you what, a, what an HTML email can look like here in a moment. So what we've done here is we've identified phases. We've identified who we're going to send it to via our, our query. And we can also preview our list data of who's going to receive this particular campaign. Now let me move over to my email message. As you recall, in, in the beginning, I talked about the ability to have SMTP integration as well as having a constant contact integration. This here is SMTP. So as I look at my phase name, I can see that I've got phase one. And if I had multiple phases, my drop down would show multiple phases here that would be available. So my content can be different for each one of the phases that I've created. I could create an activity against the, the account or the suspect prospect name um, if I chose to do that by simply checking this box here. I can put where this email is coming from. I can customize my HTML. Now this looks a little bit daunting here when you look at this if you don't understand HTML. But if we simply go over here to the edit HTML message, it's going to open a new window that now becomes much easier to use and has the look and feel of something like a Microsoft Word type application. This is something that I created on the fly, not very difficult to do with putting in columns and grids and, and linking it back to um, um, JPEGs or graphic files back on your server if you would like, if you understand HTML at all. It's very simple to work with. I can also preview and see what my finished product is going to look like. If I were happy with this particular HTML email I wanted to send, and I've already selected my list, I could simply come here to the send mail. But before I do that, I also have the ability to send along static attachments. And those attachments can be, again, a PDF. It could be a Word document, an XML, an Excel document, whatever you would like. By simply selecting the send mail, the system is going to ask me, are you sure you want to send the email? I'm going to say, go ahead and yes, go ahead and send that email off. If I had a list of a few hundred names, it would grab that list of names and send it off via my SMTP server to, to the email addresses that were associated with the query that I had just selected. In my example, I only used one name. Let me move over now to the results tab quickly. I want to show where we have the opportunity to track invoices, sales orders, quotes, and opportunities based on a campaign itself. So let's take a look at the sales order, I'm sorry, the sales invoice tab, and take a look here. And we can see that there is a, an invoice associated with Norm Thompson. I can also go back and look at earlier dates by simply just selecting a date range and saying show. And as you can see, I could select a number of records that I wanted to see. In this particular example, there was one sale or one invoice that was created. And I can drill back to the originating invoice in SAP Business One. And I drill back because I wanted to show one very important feature. What we've done is we've added a field on the AR invoice, campaign code. So any of the, the campaigns that we've created are now associated with the sales opportunity, the sales quote, the sales order, and the, the invoice screens within Business One. So we now have the ability to track that information and then run reports and look at the results of a campaign based on what we've actually spent on a campaign. That's a little bit about using SMTP to manage a marketing campaign from within SAP Business One. Now I want to talk for a moment about a marketing campaign where we might leverage something like Constant Contact. And for those of you who may not be familiar with Constant Contact, Constant Contact is a third-party solution. 
it is uh, a tool that you pay for and manage lists and you can create uh, different email content and you can see I, I created something the other day and I called it test01. Test01 is nothing more than a template itself. So I could go out onto Constant Contact. I could create a template, and I'll just show you what I grabbed here. It was something very, very simple that was in their, their system. So I could create something very, very rich with all kinds of color and graphics and all those kinds of fun things. So we can leverage Constant Contact, and you can see here under Campaigns, where I've checked the Constant Contact integration, turned that on, I can see here I've got a campaign test 01. That was the graphic I was just showing you in the Constant Contact solution. And if I had multiple campaigns listed out there, you would see that list here available. So I could select the campaign I wanted to send to and simply go ahead and, and update and send that campaign out via Constant Contact. Now the general tab remains the same. The header information at the top, again, remains the same. My call to action, my campaign description, and so on. What changes a little bit is when we move over to the list tab, you can see I still have three tabs here. But what changes here is when I look in my grid, I can again have multiple phases for my campaign. I can have different statuses where they're in draft or they're scheduled or they're sent. But now I have two different queries. I have a list here from my SQL query in Business One, where I'm actually pulling the list that I want to send this to. I also have a list in constant contact. So by simply highlighting this line, I can look at my, my mapping data, and I can update by checking this yellow box here. I can take all of the information that is in my list and push that up to constant contact. So there's no need to have a manual export slash import process into the constant contact tool. The marketing campaign management solution will take care of that integration and push that data up to constant contact for you. The last thing that I have the ability to see here is my list data. What's that list that I just created based on my query? What does that look like? Who am I actually sending to? And whatever fields I made available in my query would be displayed here. Now moving over, you can see my email message has been grayed out. And that's because we're not using SMTP anymore. We're using that constant contact tool. But now I have the ability to look at some statistics. Now in my example, I have two levels of statistics here. I've got what I call my global campaign statistics. And as you noticed, I had created this campaign just a few days ago. And you can see that it was created on the 7th of uh, November, and the last edit date was today, because we were just in that particular campaign. And you can see that I haven't sent any. But if I had sent out this email to a list of, of contacts that I may have uploaded into Constant Contact, I would see that number that it was sent to. I would see the number of people that, that had opened the email that was sent to them, who may have clicked through, bounced, forwards, anyone who opted out, and anyone who may have reported as spam. The other thing that I would see if there was a list that it was sent to would be the actual individual statistics. So it was sent to 12 folks or 100 folks. I would see that list of names here, and I would see the um, whether they opened, whether they opted out, whether they bounced. So it does bring back both global and local level um, statistics on a constant contact integrated email campaign. And finally, I wanted to mention on the results tab, it's again the same. I can see by sales invoice, I can see any invoices that are related with this particular campaign. And I can see the document number, the business partner. I can see quotes. I'm sorry, orders. I can see quotes. If I had opportunities, I could see opportunities as well. And then here I would see my business partners, which are my SAP Business One business partners that are customers. And I would see my accounts as well, which are part of my marketing campaign management uh, lead list, if you will. And we're going to talk about our account screen slash leads here in a moment. So now let's talk about accounts. Accounts is somewhat of a misleading name as we use it here, and it's, um, we, we struggle with naming this because really what this is is a prospect. Sam's Electronic is a prospect company that has several contacts within the Sam's Electronics organization. And you can see I have unlimited uh, name list here, so I could have a 1,000 names associated with Sam's Electronics. I can list Sam as a suspect or a nurture-type account or, or convert it to a... Um, to a business partner, 
in Core Business One. You can see that I can track all of the, the general information that looks very, very much like what it looks like in Core Business Partner SAP Business One. When we convert an account like this, and you can see this one has been converted to a business partner code of 007, and it has a consolidating business partner as well, we'll bring all of this data forward by simply clicking two mouse clicks, and we'll bring that data forward. So again, we have the ability to look at contact people. Within the contact people, though, I did want to mention we have the ability to identify whether these people are okay to solicit or not okay to solicit. So in this example, Sam's Electronics, um, this particular contact, Joe Thomas, we can solicit him. If he were checked to a no in our query that we build to, to look at the different opportunities we want to market to, if this were an N, it wouldn't bring up Joe Thomas or Sam Thomas, whoever's been identified as an N here, not okay to, um, to contact. And then we have general remarks and information here. Multiple addresses from a bill to ship to perspective, and all of this data does come forward into Core Business One when we do the conversion. We also have related activities here. So as I'm marketing to Sam's Electronics over the course of time, whether that's three months or three years, anytime we create a marketing campaign and we send some things out, we can generate activities here so we can go back and look at what types of campaigns may have been successful to entice SAMS Electronics or those contacts at SAMS to actually come in and raise their hand and say, hey, I'm interested in buying something or I'm interested in a particular solution. We also have the ability to track both interest and demographics. So interest would be any of the item groups or items within our SAP Business One um, item database. We can put dates. A lead source, where did this lead come from? Did it come from a trade show? Did it come from an email campaign? Did it come from a call-in? Did it come from a, a radio ad that we may have run or a TV ad on, on the local TV? And then we also have the ability to track campaigns that we've actually created where we've sent some campaign information to SAMS Electronics. Lastly, on this prospect slash account screen, I have the ability to track some of the demographics. Demographics would be the, the item or industry code that they would fall under. So we can create these on the fly, and those that are, that are um, needed by you in your organization, so they're customizable. Standard industrial classification codes um, can be tracked that are associated with the different industry groups. I can also track annual revenue, number of employees. And then you see here I wrote in height for a demo I did previously. These are completely editable by using the standard uh, control double click. We can change any of these descriptions to whatever is more pertinent to your organization, therefore customizing or localizing it to your business. So we have the ability to track all of that information. And as we move forward and we want to create new marketing campaigns in the future, we can create marketing campaigns based on maybe industry codes, maybe size of, of organization in terms of annual revenue or number of employees or standard industrial classification codes. So we have lots of flexibility here that's delivered with the MCM solution around how we want to manage our suspects and prospects or nurtures, whatever we want to call them. We also have the ability to create activities. So from a call campaign perspective, if this was an email that I created and they raised their hand and they were interested in something, I'm logged in here as Tom Manager. You have the ability, like standard SAP Business One, I can take this and I can assign this to another individual in my organization. I can put a date to it. I can put a, a remark and some content, link a document, but you see all of the pertinent data, the business partner data, the contact information comes over as we create that activity. And we can handle things like follow-ups like you normally would do with your standard SAP Business One activity screen. I also want to mention that by simply converting to a business partner, and in this case, this particular business partner has already been converted, the system won't allow us, you see in the lower left-hand corner, this lead has already been converted to a, uh, to a business partner. We can't replicate the process so we have multiple entries in the system. But if I simply click the yellow arrow here, I can come back to the business partner master data screen in Core Business One, and you can see on the, the, the business partner master data screen, I've got an account code V1. 
field that's now enabled here in, in the uh, screen. And you can also see I now have an interest tab. By having an interest tab here, I can now start to create campaigns where I, I may want to market to not only my suspects and prospects uh, that we've been trying to nurture over time, I can also do some campaigns against my existing client base that could be based on their interest. It could be based on any of the other pertinent information that we have here within that business partner. So all the data does come forward that we've created as they are a marketing type opportunity. I also wanted to mention that you do have the ability to have some, some reports. Um, there are several queries that are delivered with the solution and they're here under the query manager like you normally would see in, in Core Business One. I've taken the liberty to use our, what used to be known as our Crystal Wave solution, now known as Advanced Productivity Pack, and I put a couple things out here in terms of you can put some charts and some graphs out here with lots of functionality to drive out some of the results and, and see what, uh, what types of results you've had with a particular campaign. So we can drive reports that way as well. I did want to show you the email that we created a couple of minutes ago in the SMTP folder. We'll just let this load for, for a moment. And you can see that I had a, a quick uh, chart that I created and the salespeople that sold some of the products based on that particular campaign. But these queries, these charts, reports can be anything you would like them to be. Let me quickly move over to my, my Microsoft um, Outlook here briefly and see if that email actually came in. And there it is. I set up a a test version here, and you can see this looks strikingly like what you saw in the SMTP or the HMT, HTML um, document that we looked at just a few minutes ago as I was going to create you know, an email campaign from within my SMTP environment. And here you can see I've got that, um, that MCM information, that attachment, static attachment that I had along with that comes along as well. And we could create that activity in the background and have that available. We can put links in here out to wherever. You see I have a bit.ly link here as well. So you can do all kinds of fun stuff and have your opt-out information at the bottom. You know, please reply to, you know, unsubscribe. So we have the ability to put that there as well. Now let me move back here. And I think we've pretty much covered everything that I wanted to talk about today in terms of the MCM solution. So as you can see, this is a very flexible solution. It does deliver lots of, of information and opportunity to drive out uh, marketing campaigns, whether they be leveraging the constant contact solution or leveraging the SMTP servers. Uh, you can drive that information out to your client slash suspect prospect base and track the results of those campaigns real time as those things come in. Uh, lastly, I wanted to mention that the system does come with a full help file. Um, you can see I'll, I'll open this up here. It does come with a full help file to explain, you know, how to do lots of things. You know, how to remove accounts, how to add update, how to delete a constant contact list. So there's lots of how-tos that are delivered with the solution as it's installed on your local server. In closing, I want to take a moment to recap what we have witnessed today. Marketing campaign management is a 360-degree view of your prospects and customers. As I mentioned earlier, sales, service, marketing, and all departments within the organization can now be aligned to make informed decisions about prospects and clients because they have access to the data that is accurate and up-to-date. It is a solution that is tightly integrated within the SAP Business One solution, making it an extension of the SAP Business One solution. By eliminating redundant data entry, it increases efficiencies, as well as having the ability to access market-specific data that allows users to create streamlined marketing programs. And lastly, one source of the truth reduces data entry errors, providing you a clear view of your prospects and clients, giving you the, the ability to market to your clients with confidence, knowing that your data related to their organizations is up-to-date and accurate. Thank you for your time today. It has been a pleasure to present the marketing campaign management solution to you. My contact information is listed here. Please feel free to contact me for additional information regarding the marketing campaign management solution for SAP Business One. This concludes this overview of the marketing campaign management solution.